I know I am not the only one that has struggled with the mornings and getting the kids up and ready and out the door with being fed, clothes, forgetting nothing, and it just going well without me screaming and yelling at them. So I have put together exactly what it is that has helped our mornings going from a bit of chaos and craziness to it going a little bit better and a little bit smoother. But I want you to remember that we will still have mornings that are difficult. We will still have days that are hard and you need to be gracious and kind because you're trying to figure it out, right? And that's the first step. So let's go. Okay, the very first thing is getting everything set and ready the night before. With knowing ideally what we have to have done in the morning, we can eliminate some of that stress by taking care of things the night before. So for instance, with the little ones, it's packing your lunches and backpacks the night before. It's making sure socks and shoes are in the right spot. It's putting out clothing so that they don't have to make the decision in the morning. My daughter, this is a very difficult and hard thing for us. So we started utilizing this where she can just put her clothes in for the week and she does it on Sundays so that we do not have to worry about it or talk about it after that. Decision fatigue can happen pretty quickly in the morning. <laughs> if you're not accounting for all those extra things that you have to make decisions for when you already have all this other stuff that you just can't really get around. Next is having a consistent bedtime. Between 7 and 7.30 is ideally when we get to bed. Having a consistent bedtime routine helps their body get into the right rhythm of things. Now you know that when your littles need some sleep they can get a little cranky so if they're not getting a good night's rest the night before the morning that you're trying to get up and ready and out is just going to be a pain in the butt so make sure that they get some sleep it's better for you and for everyone else i also have been putting on some really great instrumental worship music in the background um sometimes we also will even put on like spa music it's just a way of helping keep everyone's central nervous system at a calmer state and just having something quiet and peaceful in the background to help us maintain balance now with this, if you can add in some stretching in the morning for your littles, I know like we're gonna sit there and do stretches in the morning. Yeah, I know, but it is really good to help them get some of that movement in before they really have to start their day and to let their bodies just naturally wake up. Like we like that too. Okay, now these next two are the biggest two that have helped us so much. The first one is having a visual routine list or something that they can look at that will help them in knowing exactly what needs to be done. So we use the hearth display. This thing is phenomenal and I don't think I could live without it at this point. <laughs> so if you want to know more about that, then I will have that video at the end for you so you can check it out to see if it's something that you want to implement into your family. They have their routine list that is so helpful because it just goes through everything that they need to get done, like brushing their teeth, getting breakfast, putting on their shoes, doing their hair all of those things they just know exactly what's expected of them what needs to be done all I have to do is say go work on your list you can change around the routine so that they have different things on different days giving them something that they can keep track of and checking things off so that they know what they need to do and what is expected now the next thing is this a nifty little timer is amazing yes it needs to be big and obnoxious because then the kids need to see it and it's helpful it lets off a nice beeping sound it's colored so the kids can see how much time that they have left one I'll leave a link down below if you want to grab one for your family we we set this for everything. One of my kiddos has a hard time with transitions, so this has been so helpful to the point where it's like if the timer's not on for something, it's like, well, the timer's not on. I don't have to do it. <laughs> so, you know be careful with that um, but using this timer is amazing it is you have five more minutes for breakfast you have ten more minutes until you need to have all of your shoes on so finish playing you have X amount of time until we need to be out the door it is a lifesaver what works for me might work for you but it also might not so leave a comment down below on the things that you implement in your morning that helps everything just stay calmer and not as chaotic with littles and if you wanted to see that other video about our hearts display click this one right here and i will see you over there bye